Next is rainfall changes could impact global manufacturing and service sector. Second topic that we are going to discuss is rainfall changes. Rainfall changes could impact global manufacturing. global manufacturing and services sector services sector and this is a finding by a study by one of the important one of the institutes in germany known as known as potsdam institute for climate impact research so that uh, institute or researchers from that institute carried out a study and they have come to the conclusion that rainfall changes could impact global manufacturing and services sector. So this is a uh, new finding because till now, till now what we used to, f uh, what we used to uh, uh, read or what we used to comprehend was that it is agriculture or it is primary sector like agriculture, animal husbandry, fishing, uh, mining which will be affected by the changes in climate be it change in rainfall. So that was the, that was the earlier idea that primary sector will be affected by the changes in the climatic conditions. But now, as per the uh, as per the study by this uh, research group of uh, Potsdam uh, Institute in Germany, they are saying that it is not only agriculture, it is not only primary sector, but also manufacturing and services sector are going to affect because of uh, rainfall uh, change uh, changes in the rainfall distribution and uh, amount right so what uh, that is the background uh, that that is the context of this particular topic so uh, as per them increase in rainfall days and severity of downpour due to human induced climate change may be a blow to global economic growth especially in the sectors like manufacturing and services that is the context of this particular topic and the researchers group what they have done they have compared daily rainfall data they have compared daily rainfall data uh, of uh, so, uh, uh, rainfall data of almost 79 countries they have compared daily rainfall data of almost 79 countries with the economic output with the uh, sorry 77 countries not 79 77 countries daily rainfall output data of 77 countries was compared with the subnational economic output for the period between 1979 to 2019 so for this period they compared for uh, for this 40 years period they compared the rainfall pattern with economic output and they have found that based upon that data they have found that there is uh, there is impact of uh, increase in number of days uh, in rainfall and that may lead to fall in the uh, fall in the growth rates moreover rise in extreme rainfall days even increases loss in the economic output right so uh, whenever there is increase in the intensity and rainfall days econo economic output will be lesser and whenever such rise is extreme then even loss also increases that is the first finding of that particular group moreover second uh, finding is that increase in both number and severity of rainfall days 
within a given year reduces economic productivity as well. So that uh, that is the second finding. If there is increase in the uh, increase in the number of days as well as severity of extreme rainfall, then there will be impact on economic productivity as far as manufacturing and services sectors are concerned. And third finding is that increasing wet days and extreme rainfall will likely hit prosperous countries higher. Right. So, uh, these countries, uh, prosperous countries, they depend more on manufacturing and services sector and that is why any increase in the number of wet days and extreme rainfall conditions is going to affect these prosperous countries more because of their dependence on manufacturing and services sector. So, this is a new finding by this particular research group and this is quite a shocking observation because till the time, till this particular time, uh, it was uh, it was said that it is primary sector which will be affected more and even least developed countries or countries which are poor in nature, which do not have the wherewithal to to, uh, to face climate change, to face increased rainfall, they will be affected more. Yes, they will be affected more, but at the same time, even prosperous countries will be affected, even manufacturing and services, services sector will be affected as a result of increase in number of rainy days, increase in the intensity of rainfall. Right, so that is what this particular study has been, has revealed. But why this this increase in rainfall is occurring? So, as per the group of researchers, the reason for increase in rainfall is nothing but global warming and associated climate change. Global warming uh, disturbs oceans' thermohaline circulation, wherein the water and heat are distributed vertically through water column as well as horizontally across the globe uh, across the globe so due to global warming there is a disturbance in the oceanic thermohaline distribution and that is important reason for for the effect of uh, global warming on the changes in the rainfall conditions so, this, uh, this disturbance in the ocean's thermohaline circulation generates dramatic weather impacts which can be seen in the form of increased rainfall pattern. That is first. Second is shift in global wind pattern is also, uh, is also a reason for, for the changes in the climatic condition including increase in the rainfall uh, days. So, this is being, uh, this is being uh, found because uh, due to the changes in the windfall pattern, there is change in the ocean surface temperature or change in the windfall, uh, wind, uh, wind pattern, change in the wind pattern changes the distribution of global temperature at the oceanic surface as well. Right. So, that is second reason. First, global warming. Second, changes in the wind pattern. And third reason that is highlighted by the researchers group, uh, which can be attributed to the increase in rainfall or changes in the rainfall conditions is deforestation. As a result of deforestation, there is lack of, uh, uh, lack of carbon sink, which can sink in carbon dioxide from atmosphere and hence uh, due to deforestation carbon dioxide remains accumulated in the in the uh, in the atmosphere and that acts as a greenhouse gas leading to global warming right so these three are considered as the reasons because of which there will be impact on the climatic conditions including changes in the rainfall pattern so, uh, apart from the impact that this study group has found on manufacturing and 
services sector what will be the impact of changing climate uh, as a as a whole so changing climate will lead to fall in the agricultural output apart from manufacturing and services sector which will be affected as per this study as per this study climate change will lead to fall in the agricultural output as well right why uh, why because arable area will reduce as a result of climate change there will not be enough arable area because of uh, land degradation droughts associated uh, deforest uh, associated desertification all these uh, all these aspects will lead to reduction in the arable area which will affect agricultural production and thus it will put a question mark on food security moreover uh, there will be forced migration of people from areas where climate change is having worst impact for example deccan interior which has seen uh, uh, dro droughts in in uh, 2016 17 there was migration from that region to other regions of the country so that is also the consequence moreover climate change will also lead to have its impact on health on water resources and also on different ecosystems like coastal ecosystem himalayan ecosystem uh, even mangroves ecosystem all those ecosystem forest ecosystem will face problems as a result of change in the climatic conditions and lastly we can say that the uh, climate change will lead to increased instances of droughts floods and even tropical cyclones along with heat wave conditions cold wave conditions which may have disastrous impact on human life and other forms of life as well right so those impacts are are uh, generally uh, general uh, impacts that we often come across but the study by potsdam university or potsdam uh, institute has found that the impact will be there on manufacturing and service why impact will be there on manufacturing and service because manufacturing especially manufacturing sector it depends upon supply chain mechanism and the supply chain mechanism may get disturbed as a result of increase in the rainfall conditions right so what india can learn why this study is important for india this study is important for india because india is pushing manufacturing sector india want to increase the share of manufacturing sector in its gdp so that there is more job creation in india and hence this study is important for india as well we should take uh, appropriate measures to ensure that there is uh, there is least impact on the manufacturing sector as a result of as a result of uh, Uh, as a result of climate change not only as a result of increase in rainfall pattern but as a result of climate change right so uh, that is about this particular topic but to to conclude we can say that it is not that climate change is affecting manufacturing and services sector but these sectors are themselves uh, culprits for for climate change especially manufacturing sector because in the manufacturing sector on the huge scale fossil fuels have been used since industrial revolution and that has led to addition of greenhouse gases and that is uh, leading to climate change today so yes manufacturing and services sector will be affected but it is the result of manufacturing Act, uh, the activities in the manufacturing sector itself which have led to climate change right so that is about the second topic